How to use the Barnes & Noble e-reader on the iPad. This is one of my favorite apps. Um, I don't have a Nook, that's Barnes & Noble's e-reader, but I do have an iPad and they came out with um, a free app for the iPad and it's called the Barnes & Noble e-reader. Um, I love this app and, and want to teach you a little bit about how to use it. It's real simple, but it's, it's, a, it's to me the best um, ebook reader out there as far as apps. Uh, when you download it, it comes with uh, these two that you see here. One is a link, Add Books, that takes you to their bookstore where you can buy books. The other one is just a welcome. It also comes with three books, um, really none of which I wanted. And I'm going to show you right here because it, it took me a little bit to figure out how to delete a book from my library here. So I'm going to show you this book. Now, if you tap on a book, it's going to open the book, no matter what book it is. I don't want to tap on it here. I want to uh, actually press and hold for a second. And when you do that for any book, it opens up a synopsis of that book. And in the synopsis, in the bottom left-hand corner, you have the option to move that book to an archive or to just totally remove it from your iPad. Uh, now I want to show you how you would add books to your library you tap on the add books um, icon here and that takes you to the Barnes & Noble website and when you go and check out books you can either buy it of course or like other ebook um, readers you can sample that book which usually gives you one or two chapters of the book but with Barnes & Noble they also on some of their books if you buy it you're allowed to lend that book for free I'm going to tell you about that in a minute but that's a really cool option now that book there, that Stormfront that I, I did buy, I had a free coupon actually from Barnes & Noble for it. I uh, bought it and it's a lendable book. So instead of tapping on it, I want to show you how you would lend it. I'm going to press and hold um, on that book and it's going to open the synopsis page. But this time I want you to look toward the middle, um, near the top of the page, where it says Lend Me. If I tap there, it takes me to another page and it allows me to email the book to a friend and they can read it for free for 14 days on their iPad e-reader. Uh, it's totally legal, it's legitimate and Barnes & Noble allows you to share a book with a friend for 14 days. I thought that was pretty neat. Not all books have that, like here's a book that I bought. We're going to uh, show you some things about reading on a book on the e Barnes & Noble e-reader. Um, this book is not lendable, but we're going to open this book up. And I want you to notice that uh, initially the top and bottom of the page, you don't see any menus. Well, if you tap on the page, the, the menus show up. At the bottom, that's a page counter. You can press and hold, slide that, and take you to any page in the book. And at the top is a more extensive menu, which we'll come back to in a minute. But if you slide across the bottom there, that'll take you to another page in the book. Now this top menu, this is really where the power of the e-reader uh, lies. If you come up to the upper right hand section, there's four tools here and the most powerful one is the is the first one, uh, that letter A. If you tap that letter A, there's a drop down uh, menu of tools and the first one is uh, the size of the of the type on your page, the words themselves, how big they are. Uh, the second is actually allows you to change the amount of space between the lines. The third one down here is the different font styles. And then at the bottom, you can actually change the color of the text in your book or the color of the page itself or even uh, the highlights or the links. Now, if you look up top there, I just, I'm just i going to switch the size of the print. And you'll notice here, uh, the print is bigger. Uh, now I'm going to uh, increase the amount of space between between the lines and you'll see there's more space between the lines. Uh, down here you're going to see the font. I'm going to change the font style and you're really not going to notice a big change but it did change the font style and then finally at the bottom you have the ability to change the text color um, along with the page color. First I'm going to change the text color so I tap on text and then you gotta come up to this control and slide it all the way to the right so you have a full um, 
uh, the availability of all the colors to change the type to and then wherever you tap in that circle that control button will determine what color your text is now the same thing works for page I can tap on page and wherever I move that control within that circle that'll determine the color of my page you can do the same with highlights and links all right the next um, option up top in the menu is really just very basic it's about how how big you want your margins to be the margins on the left and right side of the page and you can increase the margin space which would just make it a little bit easier to, to read the third option there is simply just a search box you can search for anything that you uh, wanted to find that you knew was in your ebook and that fourth option is an inspector button if you tap on that it just brings you back to that synopsis page um, that page that we looked at before where you can archive your book or totally remove it from your iPad now I wanted to show you some things on the menu on the upper left hand side the first one's very basic it's you tap it it takes you back to your library that's pretty simple the second one is really cool though too this second one says go to when you tap on that a drop down menu with three options shows up uh, contents notes and highlights and bookmarks uh, first we're going to look at if we tap on contents it just gives you a table of contents of the book and wherever you uh, if you wanted to change or tap or go to a different chapter you would just tap on that and it would take you there we're going to skip notes and highlights for just a minute and look at the option called bookmarks uh, bookmarks is really helpful every page in your book on the lower right hand corner is going to have a little plus sign that if you tap it will flip up the corner of that page and bookmark it so if you go to the upper left hand corner to go to and this time uh, hit bookmarks it'll show you every page that you have bookmarked and then finally we'll look at the notes and highlights if you tap on notes and highlights um, first let me show you how that works you go to any page and, and tap on a word it'll highlight that word and it actually then will give you the option of looking that word up in the dictionary or adding a note to it if you wanted to write something that uh, came to mind while you were reading that or look that word up in the dictionary or even do a Google search for it or a Wikipedia uh, definition of it you also can highlight a whole um, paragraph or as much as you want more than just one word and here I'm going to uh, highlight a couple of sentences here and when I when I just I press with my finger and drag it across as much as I want to highlight and it gives me the option to add a note so not only can I highlight but if I wanted to write something about about this passage I can tap on add note and a keyboard shows up at the bottom with the ability to type myself a note here I can then press save note and this highlight will not only be saved it'll be saved with a note attached so then later on I could be somewhere else in the book I could decide to go back to that um, tap on go to tap on notes and highlights and there's my note with the corresponding page and of course if I tapped on it it would take me back to that page um, but I want to show you one more thing here not only will I uh, will I will it bring me back to that page but at any point if I want to change the color of the highlight I can go to the upper right hand side tap on that a go all the way down and tap on highlights and wherever I put the control button that will determine the color of my highlight and then I can save the colors that I've used as a theme I'm not going to get into that right now but these colors here if you like the color scheme you have you can actually save that as a theme well, anyway thank you for watching this and I really hope that you found it helpful